three associations with the Russian dacha. Banya, one. I love banya so much. Two, borscht. And three, family. Something different for me at the dacha, I think, was going to a place where it was closed off around it, and it was their own private space completely. Uh, I just, I loved the the privacy to it. I was really surprised by how how private you could get out out there, surrounded by all these other dachas. Um, yet it would be so quiet and so quaint and so peaceful there. I, I didn't anticipate it would be that calm. So I really enjoyed it. It was very, it's very like, I don't know, revitalizing experience because I anticipated it, it would be maybe a little bit louder there. Maybe there would be, there would be more people around there, but it's very secluded. We, we arrived and we almost immediately got to cooking. We cooked borscht, we cooked pelmeni, we cooked all sorts of stuff. It was just delicious. And um, we danced, we sang, uh, we heard some accordion, some good old Russian accordion. We hear that all the time around the city. And it was so fun to hear it right there in front of us in the kitchen. We played games, we were doing all sorts of things like at the dacha with, with sawing and learning how to saw wood and build a fire and cook shashlik as well as some more food that we were cooking and we painted Matryoshka dolls. So it was a very eventful day at the dacha. The other building, the other house, was very unique. They had heavy doors, and it was a tall house, a couple floors, and very uh, beautiful decorations inside the house all over. A small kitchen, uh, a quaint and small living room, uh, but it's, it's a very comfortable and cozy home where they keep all the art they have, all these magazines. There are small little bedrooms and lots of windows to look out and it seems like a super family friendly type place to stay, to retreat. I think especially in big cities like here in Moscow, Russians tend to get caught up in the busyness of life where you're running fast, you're moving quickly, you're trying to catch the metro, you're trying to get to work and you don't really have much time to slow down. And something that I see value, val valued in Russian dachas in the tradition of Russian dacha is keeping family traditions alive and ultimately keeping Russian culture and Russian traditions alive 
when you escape the city, when you escape the busyness of, of the business world, of, of the newness of, of what's coming in these massive cities. It's a way for people to just escape. It's a way for them to spend time with their families. It's a way for them to forget what's going on in the city and, and what their work life is all about and relieve the stress. And they get to just enjoy time away. It's simply a retreat, a retreat away from, from a city. And I think it's something where you get to enjoy nature, you get, you get to enjoy family, enjoy, enjoy like true Russian cuisine, enjoy like just being away. So that's something that I really value about the dacha and the dacha tradition.